You are about to watch a video detailing the steps and instruction of the 1764 Manual of Arms, also known as the 35 count manual exercise. Please note that while we are uploading it in September of 2019, the video itself was filmed in the early 2000s. Thus, many changes have been made to our uniforms since then. We will be releasing a video in the upcoming weeks displaying the kit for each of our company's uniforms, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. Section 1. The Manual Exercise The manual exercise is ordered by His Majesty in 1764. Company will prepare for 35 count manual exercise. Poise your pile up. Two motions. One, seize the firelock with your right hand and turn the lock outwards, keeping the firelock perpendicular. Two, bring up the firelock with a quick motion from the shoulder and seize it with the left hand just above the lock so that the little finger may rest upon the spring and the thumb lie upon the stock. The firelock must not be held too far from the body, and the left hand must be of equal height with the eyes. Cock your firelock! Two motions. One, turn the barrel opposite to your face and place your thumb upon the cock, raising the elbow square at this motion. Two, cock your firelock by drawing your elbow down, placing your thumb upon the breech pin and the fingers under the guard. Dead. One motion. Step back about six inches to the rear with the right foot, bringing the toe to the front. At the same time, the butt end of the firelock must be brought to an equal height with your shoulder, placing the left hand on the swell and the forefinger of the right hand before the trigger, sinking the muzzle a little. Fire! One motion. Pull the trigger briskly, and immediately after bringing up the right foot, come to the priming position with the lock opposite to the right breast, the muzzle the height of the hat, keeping it firm and steady, and at the same time seize the cock with the forefinger and thumb of the right hand, the back of the hand turned up. To come to the priming position, bring the right foot up and place the right heel behind the left. The body should be half faced to the right with the barrel pointing straight forward. Half cock your pile up. One motion. Half bend the cock briskly with a draw back of the right elbow bringing it close to the butt of the firelock. Handle cartridge. One motion. Bring your right hand with a short round to your pouch, slapping it hard. Seize the cartridge and bring it with a quick motion to your mouth. Bite the top well off and bring the head as low as the chin with the elbow down. Prime. One motion. Shake the powder into the pan, placing the last three fingers behind the hammer with the elbow up. Note that the right elbow should be raised, not held close to the body. Shut your head! Two motions. One, shut your pan briskly, drawing your right arm at this motion towards your body, holding the cartridge fast in your right hand as in the former position. Two, turn the piece nimbly around to the loading position with the lock to the front and the muzzle the height of the chin, bringing the right hand behind the muzzle. Both feet kept fast in this motion. Charge with cartridge. Two motions. First, turn up your hand and put the cartridge into the muzzle, shaking the powder into the barrel. Second, place your hand closed with a quick and strong motion upon the rammer. Royal rammer. Two motions. First, draw the rammer with a quick motion, half out, seizing it at the muzzle backhanded. Second, draw it quite out, turn it, and enter it into the muzzle. Be sure to perform this movement in two motions. Ram down, cartridge! One motion. Ram the cartridge well down the barrel, instantly recovering and seizing the rammer backhanded at the center, turning it and entering it as far as the lower pipe, placing at the same time the edge of the hand on the butt end of the rammer with the fingers extended. Return your rammer! One motion. Return the rammer, bringing up the piece with the left hand to the shoulder, seizing it with the right hand under the cock, keeping the left hand fast at the swell turning the body square to the front. Shoulder your 
Harlow. Two motions. First, quit the left hand and place it strong upon the butt. Second, quit the right hand and throw it down the right side. Rush, Joel. Fire lock. Three motions. First, seize the fire lock with the right hand, turning the lock outwards. Second, raise the fire lock from your shoulder and place your left hand with a quick motion above the lock, holding the piece right up and down in both hands before you and your left hand even with your eyes. Third, step briskly back with your right foot, placing it at a hand's breadth distant from your left heel. At the same time, bring down the fire lock as quick as possible to the rest, sinking it as far down before your left knee as your right hand will permit without restraint. Your left hand at the feather spring, and your right with fingers extended, held under the guard, taking care to draw in the muzzle well towards your body and to dress in a line with the butt end. Note that the musket should be held before the left knee, not centered on the body. Do not stamp your foot as you bring it back. Audio! Hyla! Three motions. First, place your fire lock nimbly with your left hand against your right shoulder. Second, quit the fire lock with the right hand and sinking it at the same time with your left, seize it at the muzzle, which must be of an equal height with your chin and hold it close against your right side. Third, lift up your right foot and place it by your left. At the same time, throw back your left hand by your left side, and with your right, bring down the butt end strong upon the ground, placing it even with the toe of your right foot, the thumb of your right hand lying along the barrel, and the muzzle kept at a little distance from your body. Ground jaw, fire lock. Four motions. First, face to the right upon your heels, and at the same time turn the fire lock so that the lock may point to the rear, and the flat of the butt end lie against the inside of your foot, at the same time slipping the right foot behind the butt of the fire lock, the right toe pointing to the right, and the left to the front. Second, step directly forward with your left foot about as far as the swell of the fire lock, and lay it upon the ground, your left hand hanging down by your left foot, and your right kept fast with the butt end against it. Third, raise yourself up again nimbly, bringing back your left foot to its former position, keeping your body face to the right. Fourth, face again to the left upon your heels and come to your proper front, letting your hands hang down without motion. Take up your fire lock. Four motions. First, face to the right upon both heels. Second, sink your body down and come to the position described in the second motion of grounding. Third, raise yourself and fire lock, bringing it close to your right side. Fourth, come to your proper front, seizing the fire lock at the muzzle. Rest your fire lock. Three motions. First, slip your right hand down the barrel as far as the swell. Second, Raise the fire lock high up in a perpendicular line from the ground with your right hand and seize it with the left above the spring, the cock the height of the waist belt. Third, step back with your right foot, placing it behind your left heel, and come to the rest. Shoulder your fire lock. Two motions. First, lift up your right foot and place it by your left bringing the fire lock at the same time to your left shoulder and seize the butt end with the left hand, keeping it in the same position as above described. Second, throw your right hand briskly back. Secure your fire lock. Three motions. First, bring the right hand briskly up and place it under the cock, keeping the fire lock steady in the same position. Second, Quit the butt with the left hand and seize the fire lock with it at the swell, bringing the elbow close down under the lock. The right hand kept fast in this motion and the piece still upright. Third, quit right hand and bring it down to your right side, bringing the fire lock nimbly down to the secure, the left hand in a line with the waist belt. Shoulder, fire lock. 
three motions. First, bring the firelock up to a perpendicular line, seizing it with the right hand under the cock. Second, quit the left hand and place it strong upon the butt. Third, quit right hand and bring it smartly down the right side. Fix your bait it! Three motions. First and second. Motions as in the two first of the secure. Third. Quit right hand and bring the firelock smartly down to the left side with the left hand, as far as it will admit without constraint, seizing the bayonet at the same time with the right hand, and fixing it, placing the hand just below the brass, with the piece kept close to the hollow of the shoulder. Shoulder! Firelock! Three motions. First, quit right hand and bring up the firelock with the left. Seize it under the cock with your right, as in the second motion of the secure. Second, quit the left hand and place it strong upon the butt. Third, quit right hand and bring it down the right side. Present umps! Three motions. First, seize the firelock with the right hand turning the lock outwards. Second, raise the firelock from your shoulder and place your left hand with a quick motion above the lock, holding the piece right up and down in both hands before you and your left hand even with your eyes. Third, step briskly back with your right foot, placing it at a hand's breadth distant from your left heel. At the same time, bring down the firelock as quick as possible to the rest, sinking it as far down before your left knee as your right hand will permit without restraint. The right, face. The right, face. Three motions. First, bring up the firelock with a quick motion high before you till your left hand comes even with your eyes with the fingers of the hand extended along the stock just above the feather spring. The right foot to be brought close up to the left heel in this motion. Second, face to the right taking care and facing to hold the firelock right up and down and steady in your hands. Third, step back with your right foot and come down to your present. It is regimental practice here and on the following facings to slap the sling of the firelock briskly with the left hand as it is brought up. To the right about, face! Three motions. As in the foregoing explanation, coming to the right about instead of to the right. Note that here and for the left about facing, the foot position is the same as in facing to the right or left, with the feet kept close together. Left, face. The left, face. Three motions. First, bring the right foot briskly to the hollow of your left, with the firelock in the same position as in the first motion of facing to the right. Second, face to the left. Third, come down to your present. To the left about, face! Shoulder your pilot! Charge your bayonet! Two motions. First, as in explanation one. Second, Bring the swell of the firelock down strong upon the palm of the hand, turning upon both heels to the right, the right hand grasping the piece at the small behind the lock, and as high as the waist belt. The firelock upon a level, with the barrel upwards. It is regimental practice to shout Huzzah! as the firelock is brought down to the charge. Note that you turn on your heels rather than stepping back with the right foot. The musket should be held at the swell with the left arm bent rather than fully extended. Shoulder your firelock! Two motions. First, bring up the firelock to the shoulder, place the left hand upon the butt, bringing the feet square to the front. Second, quit the right hand and throw it down the right side. Advance your firelock! Three motions. First and second, as an explanation one. Third, Bring the firelock down the right side with the right hand, as low as it will admit without constraint, 
slipping up the left hand at the same time to the swell, the guard between the thumb and forefinger of the right hand, the last three fingers under the cock, with the barrel to the rear. Fourth, quit the left hand. Show the oar! Fire lock! Four motions. First, bring up the left hand and seize it at the swell. Second, come smartly up to a poise. Third and fourth, shoulder. Though not officially part of the manual exercise, in regimental practice the following two motions are added. Unfix your bayonet! Three motions. First and second, as in the first two of the secure. Third, quit right hand and bring the firelock smartly down to the left side with the left hand, as far as it will admit without constraint, unfixing the bayonet at the same time with the right hand, and returning it, then placing that hand just below the brass, with the piece kept close to the hollow of the shoulder. Shoulder, firelock! Three motions. First, quit right hand and bring up the firelock with the left. Seize it under the cock with your right, as in the second motion of the secure. Second, quit the left hand and place it strong upon the butt. Third, quit right hand and bring it down the right side, 